Hi everybody, I'm Omid and I come back with another amazing tips inside the Power Query. Today we are going to remove the rows in the table with a specific pattern as well as removing column with a specific pattern. For example, if you want to remove every other rows inside the Power Query, this is what we are going to talk about. This is related to challenge number 160 posted on my LinkedIn page. You can go there and find 90 different solution for this challenge presented by Excel, Power Query, DAX, Python, R, SQL and other software presented by lots of experts. In this challenge we are going to remove every other rows and every other column and result in this table. To do this there is an amazing Power Query function namely list.alternate rows. So let's use this function i'm going to add new step and say table dot alternate rows and source as the input table in the first argument i will determine the table the name of table that we are going to remove its rows and then we are going to mention the starting point for removing let's insert zero in the third arguments the number of rows that should be removed in each iteration will be presented let's insert one and the fourth argument present the number of the number of rows that should be kept after removing a specific number of rows in each iteration so let's write one also and see the result it presents something like this and means that start from the first row actually zero as indexing start by zero and then remove the first one keep the next one remove the next one keep the next one and do it until end of the table so it's started from this row remove this one keep this one remove this one keep this one remove this one and keep this one if you want to remove this one and keep next to then remove this one and keep next to you can change the fourth argument to two means that remove one row keep the next two rows and if you want to remove first two keep the next one remove next two and keep the next one you can just change the third argument to two and fourth argument to one it means remove two rows keep next one and for this problem you can change this one to one and say from neglect the first row and start removing from the next row and remove one row keep another row it's going to solve our problem but for removing the column every other column you need to know the name of columns so let's add table.column name inside column names yeah it results in a list including all the column names you can use list.alternate for these list.alternate and say count as one as one and offset also as one and press enter by doing this it's going to remove every other rows starting from the beginning so it's resulting like this in this case you can add the result of this function inside the table dot select column so let's say table dot select columns and on custom one select this column it's result in like this and select the column names that we pick instead of using selected column names you can remove them so instead of using select let's write remove columns and it's resulting like this but in this problem to provide the result like this you need to say list.skip and see the result it's going to solve our problem 